Welcome to lab 6. In this one, we're going to be setting up our iSCSI SAN. We're going to be doing this on our VC. So, I already clicked on my VC. I'm going to go ahead and log in. I copied over a few files from our physical hosts. I'm going to go ahead and paste them on my desktop. Okay, we're going to be setting up free star wins. So, in a previous lab, we created two 35 gig drives, which we're going to be uh, using them today. So we're going to power on our virtual machine, both our DC and our V, our vCenter. We're actually going to go ahead and open up our disk management and our VC. I'm going to do it through computer management just because that's how I like to do it. Disk management. Here we have our two machines. We're going to go ahead and power them both on. We are going to go ahead and initialize both of them. MBR is going to be fine because they're going to be fairly small. All right. We're going to do new simple volumes on both. 35 gigs on each is fine. We're going to choose drives S and T. And we're going to call it iSCSI 1. And we're going to do the other one as iSCSI 2. We're going to choose again drive letter T. iSCSI 2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to minimize disk management. I'm going to go to my desktop. I want to save this. So I want to go, I'm going to go to C drive. I want to make a downloads folder. This be a, I may be copying other folders later. So we're going to save it in our downloads folder. So go ahead and drill down. We actually want to install this application. And then we also have a getting started document and a key file. So let's go ahead and run the application first. You know what? Pay attention to where you're installing it. Go ahead and choose all of the options. Create the desktop icon and install. Installation should only take a, process, uh, a few moments. Yes, go ahead and install all the additional items that it asks. When we get here, we actually want to say that we have a key. It's really weird. We can go through it and it never asked us for the key. <laughs> So, what I've noticed is, when you open it, here it will be, so we actually want to apply a key. Well, where is our key at? We saved it under C drive, downloads, free solar wind, or free uh, star winds, iSCSI, there's our key. Click OK, and it should show fully connected. Why did it pop up a second time? It just, it does, it does it twice for whatever reason. And here is our iSCSI 10. Pay attention to the address. Because we're going to be looking at that a little bit later. Because we have multiple NICs, we actually want to go ahead and remove it. We want to re-add it. Except this time, make sure to choose the right IP address. 3.20. Give it a second, it should connect. There it goes. So it's there, but is it connected? Go and right click on it, click on connect. Let's go ahead and log in. The login should be root and the password, all lowercase. Starwind. 
going to click OK, and it should show successfully connected. But you notice right now, we don't have anything there. So we actually want to click on Target. We want to add a device. We actually want to add in a hard disk. We want to choose Basic Virtual. Next. Image file is fine. All right, we're going to create a new virtual disk. It happened to slam me out at that particular moment. Create a new virtual disk. Next, we're going to place this on the S drive. We're going to call it iSCSI1.img. We're going to make this 33 gigs. Make sure it's S drive. Nice guys, you want. That's all good. Cache mode should be uh, normal. That's fine. Allow multiple concurrent iSCSI connections. Yes. Target alias. ISCSI1. Notice there's the target name. Next and finish. So we should have our first one. Let's go ahead and do it again. Hard drive, basic drive, image file, create a new one. This time we actually want to do iSCSI 2 on the T drive. We want to make it 33 gigs. Normal mode. iSCSI 2. Allow multiple concurrent connections. Yes. And there we have our two LUNs. Okay, so sometimes in our lab environment, our SAN will not connect. So if it does show disconnected, all we have to do is be able to click on it. Click on connect. I want it to save the password. So our wind. And that way it connects both of our LUNs. Both of our targets are going to be there. And we will add these two devices later. That's actually the end of this lab. Thank you.